Hello students, welcome to Mitsunoko Shorts. Today we will learn how to find the range of this given trigonometric function after a long time with Mr. Nanko Shorts. Let's learn the trick here. So first of all, convert this total part with distinct trigonometric ratios into a single trigonometric ratio. So we know how to deal with that. Multiply 1 by due 2 with the total part and to manage this one we have to multiply this root 2 with the function so it will be root 2 into this can be written as sin x into 1 by root 2 will be written as cos of pi by 4 plus of cos x into this will be written as sin of pi by 4 now it is root 2 into sin of x plus pi by 4 so sin function is obviously greater than equals to minus 1 and less than 1 so it is minus root 2 to positive root.